Here's another example of the while loop. In many, in many cases, actually, whenever you have a program where you're asking an input from a user, you should always have some method to validate the information that comes in. The user could easily make a mistake or they could deliberately try to enter something that your program cannot handle. So here's an example that we will do to show you one method you can use to validate the input. Uh, this uh, shell program has the comments at the top which illustrate, uh, which tell you what I just said. The program checks for valid input. And the way this will work is the input value will be tested and as long as that value is incorrect, we're going to continue to tell the user it's incorrect. And finally, when they put in a value that is correct, we will continue with the rest of the program. Already, you see, we have the pound includes and we have uh, an integer value that is uh, set to zero. We have the code that will prompt the user to enter a value. And we have the scanf statement that will read that value in. Now, in order to validate the input, we can do that simply with a while loop. So, in this case, we want the bounds of the input to be between 0 and 100. So, any value outside of that range would be an error and we will tell our user and ask them to input the value again. So we can have our while loop test for that. So here we could do while value is less than zero. Everything less than zero is an error. And we'll use the or logical connector. And on the right we will have value greater than 100. Close parentheses and then the body of the while loop. So this relational expression has, uh, well, there are two relational expressions connected by the OR operator, the two bars in the middle. So as long as the value is less than zero or the value is greater than 100, then that is an error. We will print a message back to the screen and ask our user to input the value again. So a simple print F, double quote, and then you can decide the type of message you want to, t uh, to give them. Let's use an uppercase error period. The input is out of range. Okay, then we can uh, close that message, period, backslash, in, double quote, right paren, semicolon. And then let's give them another output, print F, and we can ask them, please enter a value. between 0 and 100 as we did earlier in order to read that value in we need to have another scanf statement but the scanf statement will be exactly the same as the one we had before the loop so we can just use our copy and paste I used to control C to copy and it's taken a second okay and then I will paste it here with control V and let's align that a little bit. And then I can take out the space below the loop. All right. So here's a simple way that you can do that. As long as the value is less than 0 or the value is greater than 100, then this condition will be true. You'll enter the loop. You'll print out error. The input, that should be, let's correct that. The input is out of range. Then we'll print a line, please enter a value between 0 and 100 and we'll read that value in. After a new value is entered by the user, the loop is at the bottom. We transfer control back to the top and we will test the latest value that they entered. So if it's still out of range, then we will continue to go through this loop, giving them this information over and over again until they finally put in a value that is between 0 and 100. All right. Now, normally we would have some um, work for this program to do, but this is just illustrating how you can do validation testing with the while loop. So uh, for our part of the program where we say continue with the rest of the program, let's just print out that the number has been validated here. So if we escape the loop, we have print F, okay, double quote, the input, and let's print it back out again. Let's do a percent uh, D to print that back out. The input percent D has been validated. Okay. Period backslash n double quote comma and we'll print out the variable value. Now that's a pretty simple program. Let's build it, 
and see what kind of output we get. Now here's our output window. And let's make this smaller. In order to see how this works, we ought to put some values in that are going to be out of range. That will keep us in the loop. So the message is enter a value between 0 and 100. So I'll enter 120. That's an error. OK, so we enter the loop. We get the output. Error. The, out, the input's out of range. Place in our value between 0 and 100. And as long as I continue to val enter values that are out of that range, like minus 9, I'll get the error message. OK, let's try 200. I get the error message. So it is impossible for the user to continue with any calculations on this program until they enter a value that is between 0 and 100. OK, let's enter a good value, say 50. And then we exit the loop, and we have the print statement. The input has been validated at the bottom, and we see that printed to the screen. OK, so there's the, uh, the input has been validated. And the printf statement that does that is outside the body of our while loop. And at this point, if you needed to do some calculations with that value, then you could put those calculations in here. So this program then illustrates how you can use a while loop to validate input.